Sean is great and, and is still great. Uh, he was uh, one of the guys in my first full recruiting class, uh, the class of 2012. Um, and that group came in and had an immediate impact on our program. We had always wanted as a coaching staff to bring in guys that could potentially play the division one level, but they wanted to come here and have a full four year experience and to set some records and potentially be in the Hall of Fame one day. And, and Sean was one of the first to really buy into that um, to the point where he was actually offered a division one scholarship you know, two weeks before he showed up to campus and, you know, honored his commitment to Dickinson and came in here and, and just had an awesome career for us. When good players commit to play baseball for you, word of mouth gets out and like, oh, Sean's coming to Dickinson and then you're attracting better players, which then, you know, leads to, to more success. We played McDaniel in a, a home conference game on a Friday and, and Sean was set to be on the mound. Um, and through like four innings, I think he had struck out 12 batters and, and was absolutely having an unbelievable game. And um, we were up offensively, we, we were up by 10 or so runs. And so we basically subbed everybody out except for Sean. Uh, he went on to set an NCAA record, struck out 21 guys, uh, which is still a conference record to this day. The numbers speak for themselves. I mean, here we are, you know, 12 years after those guys graduated and, you know, guys are still chasing his numbers. He really gave us everything he had. He's still, to this day, again, one of the best pitchers we've ever had come through. We're still trying to find the next Sean White. I don't know if that's possible, um, but I know that if he had never come here, uh, we wouldn't be where we are today. And so I love you for that, Sean, and uh, I just can't thank you enough.